Hello, and welcome to Module 20 of our Scrum Study Course on the Scrum Body of Knowledge. So far, we have discussed the benefits, purpose, scalability, principles, processes, phases, and aspects. Actually, everything one needs to know to implement Scrum. Have you ever wondered why Scrum is becoming more popular with every passing day? The simplest answer is that Scrum is better than traditional project management methods in many ways. Let's take a look at the differences between Scrum and a typical traditional project management model in a detailed way. The main difference between traditional project management models and the Scrum framework is the way in which the project is handled. Traditional project management is based on processes, while Scrum asks for a change in mindset with its focus on the people involved in the project. Although processes and tools are necessary in completing a project successfully, it is always the people who undertake, participate in, and implement the project. They do the work that takes the project from idea to reality. According to Scrum, the key factors in any project are the people, and the emphasis should be on them and their actions. Various cross-functional teams work in parallel across sprints, to deliver potentially shippable deliverables at the end of each sprint. In a traditional model, the amount of functionalities not done remains high, and no product is delivered until the end or very near the end of the project. What gives Scrum an edge over other practices when it comes to the size of the team? Scrum can be used for managing projects of all sizes. Scrum works well for most projects and team sizes. Large projects utilize multiple Scrum teams, which work in sync to ensure project progress. Since its early days, Scrum is focused on producing working software over comprehensive documentation. It still does, and has expanded that focus to include the incremental development of products other than software. While documentation is necessary and useful for any project, Scrum teams focus on interim deliverables in which real value is delivered to the customer. The documentation is done minimally, as and when it is required. Lessons learned are recorded during retrospective meetings. The process followed in Scrum is iterative, unlike the linear model used in traditional frameworks, such as the waterfall model. The iterative model helps product development improve over time. It maximizes opportunities for feedback and ensures potentially shippable versions of working products at the end of each sprint or iteration. Scrum encourages iterative decision-making based on data over the detailed upfront planning practiced in traditional waterfall-style project management. The focus is not on meeting the project's plan targets, but on satisfying customer requirements. Traditional project management can lead to a situation where the plan is succeeded, but the customer is not satisfied. In addition to iterative planning and delivery, Scrum supports the collaboration of all parties involved, the customer, business team, and project team, to minimize risk and achieve satisfaction. In Scrum, delivering the greatest value in the shortest amount of time means prioritizing work based on customer needs and dividing what will be done from what needs to be done. Scrum is often contrasted with other linear fashion project methods due to its low upfront planning and scheduling of activities, which move immediately into execution. In today's business environment, change is rapid and long-range planning is problematic. Predicting and planning every detail of new services and new product development is almost impossible. Scrum uses its low upfront planning framework to be adaptable and accommodating to change. Risk management is continuous in a Scrum managed project in which risk management works with the product owner, Scrum team, and Scrum master to determine the best approach to handle identified risks. Whereas in traditional models, risks are handled up front, even before many risks have been identified. According to Scrum, each deliverable goes to the quality assurance team as it is developed, and testing is carried out, keeping customer value in mind. Strict controls, such as acceptance criteria and a clear definition of done, are in place to avoid deviations from the customer's requirements. In traditional methods, process is given more importance. As opposed to the traditional control and command style of management, Scrum believes that today's workers have much more to offer than just their technical expertise, and therefore 
deliver greater value when self-organized. Unlike traditional project management methods, in which value justification is done before the project commences, here in Scrum, it is done throughout the project. The management style followed in Scrum is decentralized in nature, such that the workforce does not have to be dependent on management for everything, which is the case in the old autocratic project management methods. This encourages workers to be innovative problem solvers. Scrum believes that product development is a shared value creation process that needs all the stakeholders working and interacting together to deliver the greatest value. Command and control is the rule of the day in traditional models. How is team performance measured in Scrum and traditional models? In Scrum, it is measured in terms of the business value the team creates, while plan conformity decides the measurement of performance in traditional project methods. In Scrum, the team develops business value at the end of every sprint. Does Scrum give a good return on investment? The answer is a big yes, and the ROI starts early and continues throughout the project life. Whereas in traditional project management methods, the project starts providing ROI for the customer at the end of the project. How does Scrum value a customer's participation? Well, Scrum highly recommends and is designed for the involvement of customers throughout the project. In traditional methods, customer involvement during product or service development is usually very limited, but can vary depending on a project's life cycle. All in all, Scrum is an innovative framework for managing any type of project. It is suited to our time and age, ready to replace the traditional project management techniques that were created in and for a bygone era. With this, we come to the end of our module on Scrum versus traditional project management. This is also the last module in our Scrum Study introductory course on the Scrum body of knowledge. We hope you have profited greatly from this course and look forward to seeing you in our other videos at scrumstudy.com. Thank you for learning with us.